Good day and happy feast of St. Teresa of Avila. St. Teresa's patronage is rather intriguing at first glance. She's a patron saint of missionaries, even though she was an enclosed nun. These apparent opposites point out something both about the enclosed nature of our sainthood and also something of our missionary status. Firstly, St. Teresa shows us how the prayer that we do within, be it within our minds or hearts, or within the walls of a church or a convent, is not limited and certainly not confined to those walls. Mission, from the Latin missio, which means sent, implies an origin, and that origin is the Father himself. It is there that the mission of our Lord originates, and the same love of the Father that should be the origin of our mission. St. Teresa's example reminds us that we cannot be effective missionaries without a foundation there in the Father's heart. In fact, she teaches that it's the mission itself that flows from the Father and there that we will find him within ourselves. So how can we participate in our prayer and by doing so follow the missionary example of St. Teresa? In the words of Pope Benedict XVI, the Carmelite St. Teresa of Avila who in her writings constantly used biblical imagery to explain her mystical experiences, says that Jesus himself revealed to her that all the evil in the world is derived from not knowing clearly the truths of sacred scripture. He says that in the Verbum Domini encyclical. We should therefore be inspired by the saintly example and to delve into the sacred scriptures so as to come to know the heart of the Father from whom all mission comes. Now, St. Teresa lived in the 16th century, but was really quite a modern saint, both in the scale of things and the style of her sainthood. She lived in a well-settled Europe where international trade and transnational histories were well and truly on a roll, as they are to this day. She's not a dim figure from the dark ages of time. She's a saint who lived in times not unlike our own and who lives now in heaven. So let us today take heart in St. Teresa's example and be inspired by it. Let's pray as missionaries within our hearts and within whatever other walls we find shelter.